Greetings, quick, restless, animated Gemini. My name is Eliana Nicole. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader, and I'm going to now do the June forecast for Gemini. And I'm going to do some tarot cards, and I'm going to talk about the planet. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Watch the videos for your sun, moon, and rising, and tell your friends, and all of that. And most importantly, contact me directly for your own personal tarot card and birth chart readings. Because that's really when you get the most out of it, when you work with a reader one-on-one. -on -one. But these general readings are lots of fun and give you an idea. So, Gemini, as we start the month of June, it looks like uh, you're the page of rods reverse. So that can be um, a couple of things. It can be either delays or postponements in a journey, traveling or, or any kind of journey. Um, and it, or else it could be um, a new project that's having trouble getting off to the ground, a new project having trouble getting off the ground, maybe having false starts or delays in starting. And another thing that it can represent for Geminis who have children, it can be a child who's having a difficulty getting something started. And you're covered by the Queen of Swords reverse. So for Gemini women, I would say um, this is a time to have awareness around your sharp tongue. And um, for Gemini men, um, it looks like you might be dealing with um, a sharp tongue uh, woman around the beginning of the month. Gemini is crossed by the Three of Cups this month, so it looks like you are going to be partying and socializing and having a good time with friends. And um, the basis, so judgment reversed. It looks like in, in June, Gemini, um, you are going to be dealing with some consequences of decisions that you made in the past. What's leaving is the lovers, um, a romantic situation, um, or uh, it could just be time with your lover. It doesn't mean that you're breaking up necessarily. It means more that um, just maybe a romantic period is passing or behind you. Um, and what could come into being is the Knight of Swords reversed. So. Um, Gemini men um, around mid-month can be feeling conflicted about something. Gemini women, you can be dealing with a man who is conflicted about something mid-month. Um, before you, um, there's a big change coming for Gemini in uh, June. So this is the death card. Death is not necessarily a literal death. Um, I mean, obviously death is the most natural part of life besides being born probably. However, this does not mean real death. This means transformation. It means change of some kind. Death comes up. We experience many deaths in life. It's the change of a job. It's the change of a residence. It's sometimes, you know, the change of a friendship or a relationship. It can mean many things. Fears or insecurities, um, is the Page of Cups. So for Geminis with children, it looks like there may be a fear or insecurity around um, a child in your life. For Geminis who don't have children, this could have to do with your own um, creativity or romantic life. And others see you, Gemini. It looks like there's a friend who you had a falling out with who's thinking about you this month. Um, Positive feelings, Gemini, uh, towards the end of the month, having to, um, the nine of Raj reverse, so this can be um, letting your guard down about something, not being defensive, and you have positive feelings about that. It can also be about um, leaving your territory. And then the outcome is victory. We see at the end of June, Gemini is experiencing a victory. So that's the tarot forecast for Gemini for June 2019. And now I'm going to get a little bit into the planets. We're in Gemini season. So this is your season, Gemini. And as we enter um, June, you know, the sun is in Gemini. Um, Mercury is in Gemini as well. And um, 
June 3rd is the new moon of Gemini. And the new moon of Gemini is the writer's new moon. Um, if you follow me, um, you know that new moons are incredibly rich and fertile soil for planting the seeds of intention that we want to manifest in our lives. And every new moon has a different theme. And the new moon of Gemini is all about communication, written and verbal communication. And so if you are writing anything, if you want to start writing something, this is the new moon to set those intentions. Are you writing a play? Are you writing a poem? Are you writing a novel? Are you writing a song? Are you writing a thesis or a dissertation? Any kind of writing. This is the new moon to set the intentions around um, starting that writing project. If you are already involved in a writing project that's doing great and you just want to keep it going, you know, set the intentions to support that. If you're having writer's block and you need it removed and you need to breathe new life into a writing project that's already going, set intentions around that under the Gemini New Moon. Gemini New Moon isn't all, always about writing, it's about speaking too, it's about any kind of communication. Is there someone who you haven't spoken to that you want to speak to? Set intentions around that. Is there some place where you're having trouble expressing yourself? set intentions around that. Do you have a public speaking engagement or are you trying to, de to develop that skill within yourself? Gemini new moon is the time to set intentions around that. Gemini also rules the nervous system and anxiety. So if you have any intentions around those issues, now is a good time to uh, set that up. So anything around talking and communication, you know, I may have left something out. Sometimes when I'm doing these videos on site, I don't, not everything that I want to say comes to mind and that's why I always um, encourage people to contact me to, directly for readings and particularly when it's your season and it is Gemini season. So it's always a good time for self-reflection and to check in with, you know, the other side about what's going on in the material realm, right? And um, what else? So June 4th, Mercury enters. Cancer, so Mercury is leaving Gemini where it's been and going to Cancer. And when that happens, um, Geminis might be feeling a little less communicative and more in their, more communicating about emotional things or um, having a more intuitive communication in general. This is the collective feeling when Mercury enters Cancer. And June 6th, um, Jupiter is forming a sexy quadrant with Uranus. That's um, a Taurus, uh, Gemini, um, Taurus, Sagittarius alignment. And Sagittarius and Gemini oppose each other um, on the zodiac. Uh, so, you know, contact me for a reading if you're interested in that aspect. I'm trying to not have these videos go too long so I don't want to go too much on a tangent um, but June 8th Venus enters Gemini and so Venus and Gemini is a highly creative time for Gemini's and it can be a highly romantic time for Gemini's Venus and Gemini highlights mental connections um, it's again this is a great time for creative writing creative speaking Anything like that is highlighted. We are attracted to um, things that stimulate us mentally during this time, um, overall, collectively. And June 14th, the Jupiter semi-sextile with Saturn aspect. I don't want to talk about too much here, but if you are anywhere from 15 degrees to 21 degrees Gemini, there's a couple of aspects going on this month with Jupiter and Sagittarius that are gonna be very impactful to you because um, Sagittarius opposes Gemini. And so I would recommend that if you fall in that realm of Gemini, it's a really good time to have a transit reading and talk about some of these aspects that are happening for you in June. Um, and June 16th, the Jupiter square Neptune. Um, June 17th, it's the full moon in Sagittarius. There's a lot to learn at this time of the month for um, Gemini under the full moon of Sagittarius. Sagittarius full moon highlights education, religion, philosophy, travel. Um, and so there's, um, you know, illumination and enlightenment around those areas uh, for Gemini around that time of the month. June 18th, 
the Saturn sextile with Neptune. Um, yes, I'm not going to get into the specifics of that aspect on the Gemini overview. Um, June 21st is the summer solstice, um, the longest day of the year. It's a time to be out in nature, have fun. Again, illumination, enlightenment, things coming into the light. Um, Neptune also goes retrograde June 21st which depending on where that is in your chart um, may or may not affect you. That's um, something that's really good to get a transit reading about if you're interested in it. Um, the sun enters Cancer um, June 21st, so we're leaving Gemini season and going into Cancer season at that time of the year. And so then Cancer themes become more highlighted. And this is about you know, um, there's a lot of illumination around personal issues for people around this time. Things like the home, the mother, family, the inner sanctuary, um, security, um, mysticism, you know, all these kinds of things. And then June 24th, I'm not going to get so much into the specifics of the Jupiter quincunx, the true node, but again, I will say 15 degrees to 19 degrees Gemini. This is going to have an effect on you. And then June 25th, Uranus quintile, the true node. Um, that is um, an aspect that, uh, you know, I will leave to discuss in one-on-one -on -one transit readings with clients. Um, but I do want to talk about it here because I did. <laughs> I can't take it back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to take it back, but I'm just trying to get into a rhythm with these where I'm highlight highlighting for each sign the things that are the most important to them on these general talks and then getting into the details more in my one-on-one -on -one reading so I can keep my these readings not being so long. And um, June 26th, the Mercury enters Leo. Um, people become very vibrant and dramatic and colorful in communication and confident in communication. And, um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Thank you for joining me. That's what's up in the sky for June. And, um, you know, I'm practicing getting better at these videos. If you want to leave any comments to give me any ideas, I appreciate it. Give me a like if you liked it. Give me a don't like if you didn't like it, but I hope that you liked it. Follow me on Instagram at astrology.tarot.elianenicole and um, please contact me for your own personal tarot reading or birth chart reading or transit reading. And thank you for joining me, Gemini. Talk to you soon.